of her condo building early last month and into the car of someone she knew before it drove away. Our Scott Lightfoot is looking into this tonight and he joins us live now with our top story. Scott. Let me show the disappearance of Isabella Dan is a mystery and it's a mystery that the York Regional Police Homicide Unit is now investigating. According to investigators, Dan's life was also a bit of a mystery. They say outside of work connections, they're having trouble finding anyone who knew her in a personal capacity. Isabella Dan has been missing since March the 3rd. Now investigators say they believe foul play was involved. Approximately 8.22 p.m. on March 3rd, she voluntarily got into a silver Porsche Cayenne. Um, we've identified that driver. That driver has been cooperative with the investigation. Um, from there, we believe that uh, the driver of the vehicle dropped her off at an unknown location um, where she's supposed to meet with somebody else. Since that time, no one has seen or heard from the Markham lawyer. Her phone, credit, and bank cards haven't been used. Dan lived in this condo complex near Warden and Highway 7. Investigators say she left food and other personal items at home, leading them to believe she thought she would be returning. Dan also had an office not far away and was a member at this gym. But investigators are having trouble finding people who actually knew her. We've been uh, successful in locating many people that are familiar uh, with Isabella in her work life um, and they've been cooperative and we've interviewed them. We're having very, a very difficult time locating people that know her in her personal life and we haven't been able to really speak to anybody that can enlighten us on her uh, personal life some more. Dan also went by several other names and was the subject of multiple legal battles and facing professional complaints at the time of her disappearance. Investigators say they're hoping people who are in the area of Highway 7 between Warden and Leslie in Markham or Young Street between York Mills and Eglinton on the night of March the 3rd might remember or have dash cam or security cam footage of the last time anyone saw Dan alive. Mainly if they can identify any woman who's walking or may have been dropped off by that Porsche, uh, that night, I know it's two months ago, but might stand out in people's minds as there was a significant snowfall that evening. And police have also pinpointed the time period of about 8.22 to about 8.45 on the night of March 3rd as the last time someone may have seen Dan or that vehicle. They're asking anyone who might remember anything from that night or who might have either security camera footage or dash cam footage that they have not checked yet to contact York Regional Police. Morning Live, Ian Markham. I'm Scott Lightfoot. Nathan, back to you.